hello. Hey. Yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Very well. Very Just starting. Good. I love that jumper, by the way. My goodness, mate. That is Oh, is that me? Oh, sorry. I don't know what this piece of art, this article of clothing is called. Thank exactly. you. There's, there's so much to unpack on the show, but I wanted to just begin by asking you guys about these characters. I mean, you hope in your early days of your career, you get to play characters that are that have so much going on like these two do. What was the attraction for both of you to, to play these? Yeah. I mean, I feel like, yeah, Sam is definitely pretty early on through reading the script. You're like, oh, this is a dream. This one's a dream. I feel like she's so confident she's so uh she's like such a free spirit but she also has like you know a complexity that you know she especially finds with charles mm. and just of you know having this vulnerability inside her and she's this sort of like penny lane sort of uh wild child which is yeah a dream i i think charlie has such a beautiful arc throughout the series he starts um awkward and in his shell and then through Sam, he kind of starts to break out of that and then loses that when he loses her as well. And then and then he takes on a more active role and becomes someone who can fight for himself, will fight for himself, and will fight for others, specifically Sam, of course. But um, I love his arc. It's just like, it's very inspiring to play a character like that and then try to apply that to my real life. Yeah. And it's a story as well. I mean, obviously the novel set at a different time and this, it still seems quite a prevalent prevalent thing even even now do you, do you think this is a story that's that's really well timed even though it's set in 2000 and 2003 2004 that it in even in 2023 20 years later it's still yeah. a hugely prevalent story was that part of the reason for you guys to get involved that it was it felt fresh but also it was quite prevalent in its way yeah i think it's totally a testament to, it's to josh and stephanie's writing that they're able to take you know a, a period piece and make it feel there's no, there's not, no part of it that feels stale. It feels mm -hmm. like you're tackling themes that are around today of like tribalism and like gentrification and, you know, kind of this class warfare that, that was happening. And also, you know, it's a post 9-11 time period. And uh, there's like this sense of deep solidarity in the city. And I feel that now, I mean, just like flashing back to, COVID, to to the pandemic in New York when people were like clapping from their balconies like every day at six o'clock. Like, it feels like now there's this like reemergence and like solidarity and yeah, the the pride for the city feels like strong. So it it all it's weird. It's weird timing that it's like 20 years later and it feels yeah. fresh. Yeah, it does certainly. Uh, before I go, why I have to very quickly ask you, what's your take on the It prequel series that's, that's, that's coming? Because I, I wasn't sure, because this is a new, it's kind of a new thing. Because yeah. This doesn't, really, this, this doesn't really exist. What was your guys' take on when you heard that Andy and all those guys were getting involved to do it again? I, um, that sounds like a really fun project. And I'm excited that they're giving new kids opportunities to um, take on that role. Like they, they, they gave a bunch of nobodies a chance to, be in this movie called it and now they're doing that again but like you know with a whole new cast and i like really love that they're doing that um and it sounds fun seems fun but you know um i'll watch from a distance i got no involvement so <laughs> i'm very proud of uh andy barbara and everyone on the team though so i hope they have fun with it yeah usually watching clouds from a distance is usually yeah a yeah <laughs> typically <laughs> <So>. typically <laughs> 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 Uh, guys, I wish you all the best with the show. Thanks so much for your time. Pleasure talking to you. Thanks of course. So much. Thank you so much. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey. hey.